Okay, we're going to fly into the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy right now. This is our galaxy, the Milky Way. Are you ready to just zoom right in and take off? And then just see what's inside. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's a little bit too bright. We got to adjust the brightness a little bit. And we're back off. We have to slow down so we don't pass it. But you'll begin to see a little blue speck towards the end. And remember, this supermassive black hole is, is the center of this entire galaxy. And it's not as big as you would think it would be. See that blue, that blue speck? Past it, we're going a bit too fast. Those are special stars surrounding it. Usually when the time is much faster, let's get back on track and back to the black hole. The key here is to approach it very slowly and very cautiously. Boom. There we are. Now we can look around it. Time is frozen, so you can't really see it, it moving right now. Time has begun. We're just kind of looking around it before we plunge into it. Okay, we're going to start getting closer to it. And we have to angle just right. And we'll begin to see a small black dot right there. And as we get closer and closer to that, what I guess you could call uh, a sort of singularity of sorts, although it's how the software is projecting it, you'll begin to see some phenomenon happening. First off, you can see the accretion disk like, like that. And you'll, you, you start to seeing the stars shift so they're all one color because this is all the collected light that the black hole has ever seen. We're literally in the black hole now, lost. And according to the program's author, this is what you would see if you were to be able to look out of a black hole, the collected light of everything. And likely you would actually just see pure whiteness. And now we're stretching back out of the black hole, defying physics, and everything should come back into focus right about now.